Hello children. In the previous session, we had learnt the question answers of the earth is round. Okay, today first we are going to recite the poem and then solve the activities from the textbook. Is it clear children? So now all will recite the poem along with me. Okay. The earth is round. A frog is sitting on a log. Standing near is a shaggy dog. Bow wow says dog. Bow wow to you. And the frog says, How do you do? If you like says dog, Come with me. Have a ride on my back. For free, we will walk and talk and travel far. No need for plane, train, boat or car. How nice, says frog. For I have heard from a dear friend of mine, a bird. That the earth is not flat, but round. And the sky never meets the ground. So off they go for a whole day. The ride's fun, I'm happy to say. And they find that the earth is round. The sky never touches the ground. Okay children, this is the poem. Now we are going to solve the activities from the textbook. Now open page number 52. Working with words. Okay children, see the first question here. Find words with the opposite meaning in the poem. Okay. Now here children, they have given you few words. You have to write the opposites of those words. The first one, come. What is the opposite of come? Opposite of come is go. G O go. You will put a cross sign in between and write go. Okay, just now I will show it in the textbook. You write it in the notebook. Okay, sad. Opposite of sad is happy. H A double P Y. Happy. The C one. Always. Always writing. So, Never, N-E-V-E-R, opposite of always is never. Near, what is the opposite of near? Far, F-A-R, far. And opposite of night is day, D-A-Y, day. Okay. See the second question here. Make up sentences using the words above and the words you found. So this question we are not going to solve. Okay. We are going to skip that question. Now the next. Learning about language. Naming words. So here also we are going to learn about the naming words. Okay. See what they have given here. Find Four naming words for things. Okay. For things you have to find four naming words. Four names of things. And two naming words for people. Okay. See here. Two naming words for people. And four naming words for things. So now here let's read and find out. See here. Mrs. Sen and Mr. Sen have a cat. Now see here children. Mrs. Sen and Mr. Sen. 
Mrs. Sen is a woman and Mr. Sen is a man. So, these two are the names of the people. Here they have told you two names of people. So, we have found two names for the people. Now, we will find names for the things. Okay. Now, Mrs. Sen and Mr. Sen have a cat. Cat is included in things. They do not have a dog. Dog is also a thing. It comes in, in place of the thing. The cat is small. Now cat we have already underlined. So we will not underline the second time. It is called Bubbles. Okay. So the cat's name is Bubbles. Here we are not going to underline Bubbles. Bu because Bubbles is the name of animal. The cat. Okay, so we, we will not underline that. It likes milk. So milk is a thing. So we underline milk. It plays with a ball. Ball is a thing. Okay, this is all for today children. We are going to stop here and continue in the next session. Thank you children.